Hey guys, I'm Ren here for part four of Skyrim. Uh, after probably two hours of straight walking, I have reached High Hrothgar, and it took forever. Um, I much rather steal a horse and go to jail for it later, but um, yeah, that's why this game takes so long because it's all traveled. And now I'm at the top of the tallest mountain in the world. And we begin our quest to become that much more powerful. I was summoned here. Hey, brah. So, a dragonborn appears. He has a great beard. At this moment, in the turning of the age. We will see if you truly have the gift. That is a really cool robe. Show us, Dragonborn. Let us taste of your voice. Boost! Strike us with the power of your voice. Now oh, I have to hit him. Oh my god. <laughs> that scared me. Wow, where'd these people come from? Shout at us. Boost! Let us taste of your voice. I am Master Angir. I speak for the Greybeards. Hmm. Now, tell me, Dragonborn. Why have He's you come here? He's about to punch here? me. We are honored to welcome a Dragonborn to High Hrothgar. We will do our best to teach you how to use your gift in fulfillment of your destiny. That is for you to discover. Hmm. We can show you the way. But not your destination. Ah, oh, cool. You have shown that you are dragonborn. You have the inborn gift. But do you have the discipline and temperament to follow the path laid out for you? Uh, that remains to be seen. Carrot. Without training, you have already taken the first steps towards projecting your voice into a thumb. A shout. Cool. Now let us see if you are willing and able to learn. When you shout, you speak in the language of dragons. Thus, your dragon blood gives you an inborn ability to learn words of power. All shouts are made up of three words of power. As you master each word, your shout will become progressively stronger. Master Einarth will now teach you rope. A second word in unrelenting force. Ro means balance in the dragon tongue. Combine it with fus, force, to focus your thumb more sharply. Ro. Oh. What, what, what? Oh my god. onto it. Force and balance. I think I have to hit him. You know what, I'm gonna save real quick before I do that, because if I piss him off... within. Dragons have always been able to shout. Language is intrinsic to their very being. There is no difference in the dragon tongue between debating and fighting. Shouting comes as naturally to a dragon as breathing or speaking. In mythic times, when mortal kind was in great need, the goddess Kinnereth granted us the ability to speak 
as dragons do. For most people, long years of training are required to learn even the simplest shout. But for you, the dragon speech is in your blood, and you learn it almost without effort. Yep. Five. Our leader, Parthenax, lives alone on the peak of the throat of the world. When your voice can open the path, you will know you are ready to speak to him. Cool. As I said, you will know you are ready when your voice can open the path to him. No doubt, the appearance of a dragon born at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. You should focus on honing your voice, and soon your path will be made clear. Good. Then you will be ready for whatever lies ahead. Sky above, voice within. But learning a word of power is only the first step. You must unlock its meaning through constant practice in order to use it in a shout. Well, that is how the rest of us learn shouts. As Dragonborn, you can absorb a slain dragon's life force and knowledge directly. Yeah, it's just As part weird. of your initiation, master. Oh my god. Did you just explode? Now, let us see how quickly you can master your new form. Dude. Unrelenting force shout to strike the targets as they appear. Oh. Use both Vus and Ro. Together they will make the shout more powerful. Oh, so hold it. Okay. Go. Well done. Again. <laughs> Two more times. Great promise, Dragonborn. We will perform your next trial in the courtyard. Follow Master Bori. Master Boy. Bori. It takes forever to walk upstairs. I feel like uh, they need to have summer sometime soon up here. And again, I am on the highest mountain in the world. So this isn't exactly a courtyard per se. It's more of a frozen wasteland. But ah, we will now see how you learn a complete. These guys don't talk. Shot. Master Bori will teach you wolf, which means whirlwind. 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 Hear the word within yourself before you can project it into a thing. Approach Master Bob and he will gift you his knowledge of wool. Wow. Magic absorbed. Master 
Mr. Wolfgar will demonstrate early in the sprint. Then it will be your turn. Master Bori. X! Wolf! Yes. What? Now it's your turn. Stand next to me. Master Bori will open the gate. Use your whirlwind sprint to pass through before it closes. What? Force go! I'm not really sure Is which. Is your best effort? Again. What do I do? Ah, it's a totally different one. Stand next to me and prepare your whirlwind sprint. Master Bori will give the signal. Uh. Your quick mastery of a new thume is uh, astonishing. Yeah. I'd heard the stories of the abilities of Dragonborn, Sorry. but to see it for myself. <sighs> I thought it was this easy for everything. Yeah. You are now ready for your last trial. Retrieve the horn of Jurgen Windcaller, our founder, from his tomb in the ancient fane of Ustengram. Remain true to the way of the voice. You will return. Dramatic pan. That was cool. No doubt, the appearance of a dragonborn at this time is not an accident. Your destiny is surely bound up with the return of the dragons. Scott? Alright, so, where do we need to go? Local. Uh... Oh, I get us to the quest. Oops. Okay. <laughs> um, checking the time. Yeah, I feel like now would be a good point to end off for part four. Um, in the next installment, we get to go find the horn of uh, their founder. So, another super fun quest that hopefully won't take weeks. But uh. My name is Zombie Ryan, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you soon. Peace.